This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Coolant Renewal Pull the bonnet release lever located in the passenger's footwell. Lift the bonnet slightly. Pull the safety catch forwards. Raise the bonnet and release the bonnet prop from its clip. Engage the bonnet prop to support the bonnet. To drain the system, first remove the expansion tank filler cap. Chock the rear wheels. Position the jackhead under the reinforced section of the door sill flange. Then raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the reinforced section of the sill flange. Prise up the centre pins and lever out the plastic expansion rivets each side of the under tray. Undo the torque screws and remove the deflector at the front of the under tray. Remove the torque screws at the front edge of the under tray. Undo the screws at the rear edge and slide the under tray forwards, noting how it engages with the subframe. Remove the tray from under the vehicle. Place a large drain tray underneath the radiator drain tap, which is located at the lower left-hand corner of the radiator. Then, fit a length of hose to the pipe at the side of the drain tap to help direct the flow of coolant into the drain tray. Unscrew the radiator drain tap with pliers and allow the coolant to drain. Now, remove the thermostat housing bleed cap. Once the coolant has stopped draining from the radiator, close the drain plug, then remove the hose. Remove the drain container from under the vehicle. Prepare a sufficient quantity of the specified coolant mixture and allow for a surplus so you have a reserve supply for topping up. Position a funnel and slowly fill the system through the expansion tank. Since the tank is the highest point in the system, all the air in the system should be displaced into the tank by the rising liquid. Slow pouring reduces the possibility of air being trapped and forming air locks. On some models, Bleed screws are fitted to allow the air out from the system. Place a container or cloth below the bleed screw. Then remove the cap and release the air until there is a flow of coolant. Clean up any spilt coolant when completed and remove the cloth. Continue filling until the coolant level reaches the expansion tank max level line. Then remove the funnel and cover the filler opening to prevent coolant splashing out. Start the engine and run it at 2,500 RPM for two minutes. If the level in the expansion tank drops significantly, top up to the max level line to minimise the amount of air circulating in the system. With the expansion tank filled to the max level line, refit the expansion tank cap and run the engine at 2,500 RPM until the thermostat opens and the engine is at normal operating temperature. Check this by feeling the radiator bottom hose. If it's hot, then the thermostat has opened. Position the tray under the vehicle. 
engage the under tray with the subframe each side. Then refit the rear screws and tighten them securely. Fit and tighten the front screws securely. Refit the front deflector and tighten the retaining screws. Refit the plastic expansion rivet each side. Then press the centre pins down to secure them. Raise the vehicle. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. If, after draining and refilling the system, symptoms of overheating are found which did not occur previously, then the fault is almost certainly due to trapped air at some point in the system, causing an airlock and restricting the flow of coolant. Usually, the air is trapped because the system was refilled too quickly. If an airlock is suspected, first try gently squeezing all visible coolant hoses as shown. A coolant hose which is full of air feels quite different to one full of coolant when squeezed. After refilling the system, most airlocks will clear once the system has cooled and been topped up. Remove the prop from the bonnet, then clip the prop into the storage bracket and close the bonnet. 